Nicolas, hello, how are you? Hello. Nicolas, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher, how are you? Good evening, Nicolas, how are you? Is everything fine? Fine, thank you, teacher. Okay, that's great. It's nice having you here in class. And we are going to be together another level. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher, I not understand you. It's good that we are going to be together. Qué bueno que estaremos juntos. Ah, yes, teacher. It's very good. Hey, it's great, it's great. Okay, and tell me, how was this vacation time for you, Nicolás? The vacation uh, are be very good. My vacation. Oh, really? Uh, sorry? Oh, really? What did you do? Well, uh, the first day I, I visit the beach in Barra de Santiago. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, después, teacher. Then or later. Then I visited the the um the ah uh, <laughs> visited the de dónde es la Meli negra te di ah oh ah 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 little 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 pueblo, teacher. Town, a little town. town. Little town in 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 La La Paz department. Oh, really? So you've been around, and on the vuelta, no? Yes. For example, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow I visited with my wife Morasan for three days. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. That's nice. So you're going to be up in the mountains. Yes. In, for example, in Perkin and Parambala and San Fernando. That's cool. So you are going to have fun. Se va a divertir. That's excellent. Well, Nicolás, it's a pleasure for me to have you here in my class. Thank you very much. Un gusto tener okay, gracias. teacher, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And let's see who else is around. Hey, Walter, what's up, my friend? How are you? Uh, hello. Having a little bit of problems, I guess. Tenemos problemitas para escucharlo, Walter. Yep. We are having problems to listen to you. I'm so sorry, Walter. Perhaps later we can fix it up. Uh, hello, hello, excuse me. Hello, creo que no lo oímos bien. Problems with connection, Walter. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. Hello, I can hear you a little bit. Me escucho un poco entrecortado. Listen to me. Teacher, uh, 
hello. Oh, okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll talk later, Walter. Don't worry. Vamos a hablar más luego, Walter. No se preocupe. Yeah, he has problems with the connection. Let's see. Hey, William, how are you? Very well, teacher. Good evening, teacher and classmates. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And tell me, William, how was this post time, this vacation time from my class? Excellent vacation, teacher. Uh, my God day was heavy, uh, but happy uh, to study again. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's great that we are going to be together. This course is going to be very, very interesting. It's necessary to study English. Yeah, it's always good to practice. Thank you very much for being in the class, William, and welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Susana, hello, Susana, how are you? Hello, teacher, nice to meet you. Well, no, nice to meet you, Susana. We met a month ago, <laughs> ya nos conocimos. Nice <laughs> seeing you, nice to see you. How do you say, gusto de verlo otra vez? Okay, it's like this. It's, let me text it to you. Nice to see you. Okay, see you again. Next, uh, again. again. Okay. Yeah, it's a pleasure for me. It's so nice to have you here in my class. It's excellent. Welcome to the class, Susana. Thank you, teacher. And tell me, Susana, did you have a good time? What um, did you do? Did you practice English? Um, you practice English. <laughs> mm. So, so, teacher. <laughs> ah, come on, come on. We've got to practice. Yes. Well, welcome to the class, Susana. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see. Who else do I have here around? Who else do I have around? Let's see, I got Miss Jency Elizabeth Miranda. Welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you, Jency? I'm fine. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice meeting you too. My name is Douglas Arevalo. So you're going to be my student in this course. Welcome to the class. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. Well, uh, for the new ones, every day, every class, we start having a short conversation with everyone, okay? That's normal. Let's see, who else do I have here? Mr. Nestor Omar, hello, mister, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm very good, thank you. Okay, Nestor, hello, how are you? And tell me, uh, how long have you studied English, Nestor? Sorry, uh, I don't listen very good. Could you repeat, please, the question? Okay, let's see. Uh, tell me, where else have you studied English? Or you been studying English in these courses? Just to one of course of before? No, no, no. Um, um, I study English in another institution. institution. Oh, well. Well, welcome to English Corporativo. We are going to have fun. Don't worry. No se preocupe, que aquí nos vamos a divertir. This is going to be fun. Okay, sorry. Is, uh, what is your name? My name is Douglas Arevalo. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too, Nestor, and welcome to the class. Let's see who else do I have here. I got Fabiola Georgina Silva. Hello, miss. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. And you? I'm just great, just great here, ready to start the class. And tell me, have you been studying English before? Uh, I study English in the other model. I have oh. a problem with my health, salud. Health, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's understandable. But the good thing is that you are here to continue working. And don't worry, we are going to 
make a lot of activities here. Welcome to the class. Thank Let's you. see. Oh my gosh, that's Maria Alejandra. Oh no. Hi, Maria Alejandra, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? <laughs> I'm just great, just great. How are you, Maria Alejandra? Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Fine. Very fine. Okay, that's nice. You were practicing English, I guess, right? Mm. Oh, <laughs> Maybe. On. On. I try. Maybe it's not an option. Maybe it's not an option. Welcome to the class, Miss. Thank you. Thank you for you. being here. Let's <laughs> see who else. Marcela Margarita Fuentes. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Hello, how are you, Miss? I'm very well. Thank you. Well, I'm just looking to your background. So you didn't see background. You got uh, a lot of info. Yeah. The background is for the class so, no, of my brother. Oh, my brother's class. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that's interesting. What is it about? <laughs> yeah, he is in kindergarten. Oh, really? So. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Children's garden. That's cool. Heavy stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, welcome to the class, Marcela. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, Ambar, where are you? Acabo de ver a Ambar. Where did you go? Hello, oh, teacher. Oh, you don't want to see me, right? No quiere que yo la vea. That's why. Hello, Ambar, I see how you. are you? I'm and, fine. And I like to see you. Me encanta verle. Hello, how are you? How was your time off the class? Well, this good. I, I took a long time not because how do you say estoy incapacitado oh really you got a leave of absence uh, i little absence right oh really uh, yes well so sorry to hear that hope you get better soon Espero que se recupere pronto. thank you teacher okay let's see let's see who else is around daniel Hello, Daniel. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And Hello, you? Daniel. Well, you know, happy to have a lot of known people. Contento de tener muchos conocidos. That's cool. Yeah, I see that. That's cool. That's cool. And tell me, Daniel, how's everything? How's the business going? Uh, the... Well, it was really good the last weeks because we, we I have to do a lot of um, presupuestos. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Just let me remember the word. Oh, really? And did they approve anyone? Sorry? ¿Le aprobaron alguno? By the time, no, but they are really nice because there is one that is a house at the beach that uh, it is really big it's around 300 square square meters. square meters oh my gosh that's big budget budget remember daniel budget. budget yeah well let's hope everything goes okay yeah welcome to the class daniel thank you Let's see, Maria Luisa, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher, how, how are you? I am fine, I am, thank I you. I am just fine. Well, here, happy to have you here in my yeah, class. I am, ha I, I am happy that you are our, our uh, teacher again, again. Okay, no, it's my pleasure. Thank you and welcome yes. to the class. Thank you. Uh, thanks to you. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Carlos, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Man, I get mad when I, when I see that background so yours. A mí que me molesta ver ese fondo verde. That means that you are in your town and your town is fresh. 
Yes, teacher. <laughs> and my house is hot. I am suffering. I'm like desperate. And Carlos sí. is like, oh, it's so cool here. <laughs> yes, teacher. Actually, it's uh, around uh, 20 degrees. Oh, yeah, man. Don't, yeah. don't tell me anymore, man. Here where I live, it's hot. And you are like having fun, relax. Hey, welcome to the class, Carlos. Nice Thank having you, teacher. you here. Nice to see you too, teacher. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Well, hi, Roxana. Hey, you knew it was you, right? Hi, teacher. How are Hello, you? Hello, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. Child and bus. I'm fine. How's everything? Everything. I think good? that this, yeah, uh, actually, um, in in my work, uh, I had a lot of things to do. In my health, everything is okay. I think I okay. have some uh, examiners. Test. Exams. Test. Test. I have some tests and the next week, maybe I have a positive uh, result. Okay. And I think that everything is okay. Okay, so you have to undergo some tests. Undergo? What is the meaning for undergo? Someterse. Oh, okay. So yesterday I, well, I see, yesterday I, some underwent underwent yesterday i underwent yes yeah, some test some test kits okay okay well let's hope everything goes okay so happy to have you here in class roxana welcome thank you teacher let's see let's see who else is around hey jose hello mr osorio how are you i'm fine teacher Nice having well. you here in class. <laughs> yes, teacher. Where uh, did you go? Hold on. Oh, right there. You moving my screen, so I'm moving the pantalla. <laughs> so tell me, have you been practicing English? Uh, um, ¿Cómo le digo, teacher? Estoy buscando las palabras. Yeah, I admit that I did not practice English as oh. planned, as planned. Okay, and, don't but, worry. This but I, I is feel going to be, this <laughs> level is going to be a big practice. Uh, yes, I, I, I know I have to organize my time to be able. Yeah, and this is going to be very, very The study of this language. Uh, don't worry, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Don't worry. No Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's see. Who else do I have around? Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Sylvia. I am just great. How are you, my dear? Tell me. How's everything? Uh, everything is it's good. Everything okay. is good. Today was my day off. Oh, really? I feel arrested. And, I feel well And rested. tell me, how, how did it go your day off? What did you do? Um, my best friend came, came at my house. Um, we made lunch and then we went to the beach together. Oh, that's cool. So you had fun today. Yes, I have fun today. Excellent, excellent. So happy to have you here in my class, Sylvia. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Let's see, let's see. Where's where's Claudia? Claudia, hello. Claudia. Perhaps she's having problems. But I got Ana Belinda. Hello, Martha. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. And you? 
Well, you know, just here, just here. Same old story. Okay, teacher. Nice to meet you. See you again. No, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. <laughs> teacher. Well, you know, Marta, you, I you, you say... should. Yes, tell you, me. You should change your word paper because say beginners. Please, oh, we are intermediate. So, teacher, yes. what happened with you? <laughs> my bad, my bad. But, but I am not oh. practicing in vacation. So, so sorry for me, okay? <laughs> okay, why didn't you practice in the, during vacation? Tell me. I'm so sorry, but it's my off week, so... I am very busy. You are very busy? Yes. What did you do? Um, um, house chores. Okay. Many house chores. Well, you know, that's normal. That's normal. Everybody's got a lot to do. Todos tenemos mucho que hacer. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Just give me a second. That thank you very much that you remind me of something. My bad, I'm in trouble right now. Okay, Leo. Just give me a second, guys. I just need to fix something. That thankfully Marta tell me told me about it. Okay, let's see where, 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 where. Here we go. This, this, this one. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Just let me fix it. Perfect. Okay, Marta, you see, it's fixed already. Excellent. It <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah, it says right there, intermediate. Okay, well, guys, hello, everybody. Let's see, well, I could talk to everybody, but Claudia, Claudia, hello. You here with me? I think having problems. Well, guys, let's see. Eh, bueno, perdón, voy a hablar un momento en español para todos. Este, necesito su atención. Eh, bienvenidos a todos. Para los nuevos, mi nombre es Douglas Arevalo. Eh, es un gusto tenerles acá. Seré su facilitador en este curso. Y bueno, las recomendaciones normales, ¿verdad?, de todos los niveles, permítanme compartirles algo que tenemos preparado con ustedes. Let's see. Acá. Ok, let's see. Ok. Course English for Work Program, Intermediate, Notion One, Douglas for Forever Maya, that's me. Okay, oops, que feo esta gente. Okay, now, requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Esto es muy importante. Siempre ingresemos con nuestro nombre completo, por favor. En el caso de oyentes, agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Eso es por cuestiones de auditoría. Si en Zafor se nos conecta, ellos piden siempre identificar quiénes están en calidad de oyente. Solamente para eso. Por lo demás, la clase es normal para los oyentes, igual que para los inscritos normal, no se preocupen. Veamos, ¿qué más? Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión es lo más recomendable. 
Eso nos permite tener una mejor interacción. Crean, I mean, believe it or not, créalo o no, desde el momento que usted tiene la cámara encendida, usted siente un mayor compromiso con la clase. Se concentra un poquito más. Nos vemos menos tentados a distraernos. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Eso, por favor, tratemos de hacerlo. En la medida que no podamos hacerlo, pues van a disculpar, pero a veces cuando yo los silencios y... Si en su casa el perrito comienza a ladrar mucho o la puerta sonó, lo silencio un momento todos y luego cuando van a participar, pues usted activa nuevamente su micrófono y no hay problema. Participación activa. Bueno, quienes ya han estado conmigo saben que es normal. Me gusta mucho la participación de todos y vamos a hacer lo posible de que todos participemos en todas las clases en la medida de lo posible de una manera equilibrada. ¿Ok? Muy bien. En el caso de la asistencia, la asistencia al 100% de las clases. ¿Ok? La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. O sea, no es simplemente me conecté 5 o 10 minutos, sino que es importante que aprovechemos la mayor parte del tiempo posible. La asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, 8, 9 y 9.55. Normalmente hacemos esto. En mis clases normalmente la primera la tomo un poquito más tarde, dando tiempo a que nos conectemos todos, ¿verdad? Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente o presente y tener cámara encendida. Ok. Sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Luego nos aparece acá permisos no disponibles. Ok, voy a hacer una aclaración con lo que respecta a los permisos no disponibles. Lo que sucede es esto. En muchas ocasiones ustedes me dicen, mire, profe, este, no puedo conectarme por X, Y, Z razón. Ok, yo lo comprendo. Pero realmente ni nosotros, ni yo como docente, ni, ni inglés corporativo está autorizado a, a decirle, mire, le vamos a dar un permiso. Y quiero explicarles algo acá. A nosotros se nos pide, a ustedes se les pide como alumnos que estén presentes el 80% de las clases. Eso quiere decir que tenemos un par de clases que nos quedan ahí por una emergencia, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, yo les recomiendo, atesoremos los minutos. En la medida de lo posible, conectémonos a todas las clases que podamos la mayor parte del tiempo posible. ¿Por qué? Porque no sabemos si más adelante se nos va a presentar una emergencia que demande de nosotros, pues, el no estar en una clase. ¿Qué tal si usted ya, porque, ay, no tengo ganas, dice Roxana, ay, hoy no quiero ver al teacher, mucho molesta. ¿A qué es? Ese tema ya lo entendí. O sea, ¿qué sucede? Puede ser que más adelante usted necesite ese tiempo, no pueda tomarlo. Ahora, otra cuestión, eh, guys. En este módulo, vamos a intermedio, eh, quienes ya estuvieron conmigo, la dinámica va a variar un poco en el sentido de que vamos a ir más rápido, más participación. Eh, la velocidad con la que les voy a hablar va a ser un poquito más rápida, ya no estamos en básico, esto es intermedio. Y la otra, necesitamos un nivel de compromiso más fuerte. Les explico por qué. Recordemos, los módulos anteriores que ustedes estuvieron fueron de cuatro semanas. Este módulo es de cinco. De acá en adelante los módulos son de cinco semanas. ¿Qué quiere decir? A algunos nos costó conectarnos las fechas, las cuatro semanas, y ahora todavía vamos una semana más, eh, se va a sentir un poquito pesadito. Ahora bien, para que la clase no se sienta ni tediosa ni aburrida, pues eso ya depende de mí, el buscarle más ejercicios, Acuérdense, hay actividades que siempre van de ley. Eh, si hay conversaciones, hacemos las conversaciones. Nuestras pláticas al inicio, nuestras pláticas al final. Muy importante esas conversaciones porque me permiten a mí evaluar cómo estamos, en qué les ayudo. Pero el nivel de compromiso que cada uno le va a dedicar a este módulo es muy, muy importante. Mire, estamos en uno de los puntos más difíciles para ustedes como alumnos. ¿Por qué? Porque algunos de ustedes ya sienten que, bueno, este, yo ya domino bastante, ya me comunico, el teacher me entiende todo, lo entiendo todo cuando habla, he escuchado a algunas personas hablando inglés y les entiendo. Entonces puede ser que 
el estrés, el trabajo, los compromisos, aún la familia. Nos, nos quieran absorber un poquito más de tiempo. Y por eso les digo, este es el punto en el cual realmente nos vamos a ver qué tanto tenemos ese compromiso con nuestro aprendizaje. Es el curso más grande, el inicio de los cursos más grandes. Es donde nosotros tenemos que dedicarle un poquito más de tiempo, de ánimos, de esfuerzo. Confío y deseo que todos estén acá. Y créanme, yo haré todo lo que esté en mi poder para hacer que la clase pues, no sea tediosa ni aburrida para ustedes. ¿Qué les pido a ustedes? Conéctense. Estén en las clases. Lo demás, don't worry. Depende de mí y yo con gusto voy a estar acá para ayudarles y apoyarles. O sea, esto va a estar muy, muy bonito, muy, muy interesante. Los temas que vamos a ver, gramática interesante, vocabulario muy bueno. Este, todo lo que vamos a ver es muy bueno. Pero igual, un poquito más pesadito que lo que hemos estado viendo. Estábamos así, suavecito, suavecito. Ahora no. Ahora vamos ya un poquito más de empeño. Entonces, hagámoslo. Les prometo que al final de este módulo usted va a sentir la diferencia, el salto que dio. Pero para que usted sienta eso, que necesito yo? Conectémonos a las clases. Como participantes, como oyentes, conectémonos. Van a ver que esto es muy bueno y que les va a servir mucho. Eh, déjenme ver qué más tenemos por acá. Sí, vamos a y vamos acá lo que les decía los permisos pues nosotros no podemos darle permisos este usted tiene ese espacio nada más pero decir de que no llegué y eso me vale pues no existe el decir de que yo ya le dije al teacher y que no hay problema lo siento Insafor cuenta minutos para ellos cuenta minutos y plataforma ok el trabajo en la plataforma hecho y los minutos conectados por eso les digo, atesorémoslo, cuidemos ese tiempo. Veamos, tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Ok, el 80% en tareas y evaluaciones. Chicos, eh, por favor, trabajemos en la plataforma. Yo sé que hubieron algunos que me tocó sacarles carrera a última hora para que me la terminaran. Si nosotros hacemos el esfuerzo así, si no podemos todos los días, al menos unas dos veces a la semana van a ver qué fácil lo terminan. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma justo después de cada clase. Revisemos la plataforma. Si nos cuesta, no tenemos problemas, avísenme con gusto. Si no les puedo ayudar yo, pues le pido a, la, a los chicos de soporte que nos ayuden. Y ellos siempre están atentos a podernos ayudar, a darnos toda la ayuda necesaria. Siguiente punto. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado al INSAFOR semanalmente. Aquí sí yo les pido que me ayuden. Recuérdense, yo estoy el viernes hasta, hasta las 12 esperando el último que me termine tareas para meter esas notas porque a mí me la revisan sábado tempranito porque INSAFOR la revisa. Luego, la fecha límite para terminar el examen medio, el midterm, es el miércoles 8 de septiembre antes de la medianoche. Luego les voy a explicar un detallito acá. La fecha límite para terminar el examen final es el jueves 23 de septiembre antes de la medianoche. El manual, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Ok, veamos. ¿Qué más acá? Con respecto a la plataforma, con respecto a Zoom, el botón silencio, de vez en cuando lo voy a tener en silencio a todos, porque si no, pues nos interrumpimos, no escuchan los demás. La cámara, en la medida de lo posible, tengamos esa cámara activa, nos va a servir a todos, verán qué bueno para ustedes también. El chat lo utilizamos mucho, eh, directamente conmigo o también lo uso para vocabulario, así que estemos atentos a él. Los breakout rooms, recuérdense, siempre hacemos ejercicio en los breakout rooms, siempre hay algo que hacer ahí, siempre hay cómo compartir con los compañeros. Ahora, la meta es breakout rooms, no usar español, si yo no estoy ahí con ustedes, en inglés, ¿por qué? Porque de pronto me les aparezco, recuérdense, voy de grupo en grupo, viendo. Y acuérdense que tienen el botón ask for help o pedir ayuda, si usted lo tiene configurado en español. Eso es para que usted lo presiona, a mí me aparece un aviso y yo me uno a su grupo. 
Okay. Veamos. ¿Qué les iba a mencionar yo? Ah. La primera semana, eh, sección 1. Semana 2 y 3, nos vamos a dedicar esas dos semanas a la sección 2. Quiere decir que al finalizar la semana 3, en el día 15, estamos realizando el midterm. ¿Ok? La clase número 15 vamos a realizar el midterm y la clase 25, que es la última, vamos a realizar el final. ¿Ok? Yo sé que algunos de ustedes, pues, en la medida de lo posible, me avanzan con la plataforma antes y perfecto. Igual, si tiene algún problema con la plataforma, avíseme. Con gusto les ayudo. Saben de que ahí estoy siempre pendiente. Eh, antes de pasar ya a lo interesante, ¿alguna pregunta? ¿Dudas? ¿Quejas? Teacher, una pregunta. Dígame, Ambar. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuántos niveles son de intermedio? Disculpen. Al igual que los básicos, vamos ¿Cuántos con seis. niveles son de intermedio? No recuerdo muy bien, disculpe. Al igual que los básicos, vamos con seis, Samba. Ah, igual en el avanzado, ¿verdad? Yep. Oh, oh ok. Avanzado. Gracias. Advanced level, believe me, you will have fun. Créanme, en ese se van a divertir. That's awesome. Es, a mí, me gusta, me encantan los intermedios y los avanzados son buenísimos. Son muy, muy buenos. You will enjoy them, guys. But, to get there, we need to work here. Para llegar a ellos, vamos a trabajar acá. Ok, before we continue, antes de pasar a otra cosa, please give me your attendance. Ámbar Eli Alfaro Gómez. Teacher. Okie dokie. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Welcome. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Here, but no. Oh, that's weird. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Here. Thank you. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth de Vendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Por ahí anda con problemitas de conexión, pero está aquí. Qué bueno. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Oops. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Thank you, Marcela. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh, interesting. I'm dismissing uh, Cisco, Eduardo Figueroa, and Wilfredo. Okay. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see. No problem, Janita. I got you. Ah, la vieja confiable. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. 
Okay, guys. Well, let's see. Let's see. Where's Roxana? Roxana, hello. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, Roxana. I know for sure that you love Mexican food. And I know that you like uh, one restaurant that is close to, uh, let's see. Sotano. Uc yeah, Uca. What's the name of the restaurant? Yeah. Uh, Sotano. Close okay, to tell... uh, Uca. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me, tell me. What makes this restaurant a special place for you? Why what? do you think it's special? What makes that restaurant a special place for you? What is it special, special about it? Mm. Perhaps the service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, makes it so special for you? I think that uh, the um, taste, no, oh, the sabor. Okay. Yeah, Maybe? yeah, the taste. Yeah, the taste. The taste. Yeah, because uh, in all place, I try to uh, ask, ask for a uh, pastor, pastor tacos, tacos al pastor. Yeah. And I try to uh, know what is the flavor. Uh -huh. And I, I like uh, some place because uh, the, the, the flavor is not sweet. I don't like a sweet food, just salad food, because it's, it's, it's like, um, I don't know, plato fuerte, hard. The, the main dish. The main dish, and in my case, I love the sotano because uh, the, the tacos are uh, salad, uh, salad, okay. salad. So you don't like Taco Bell at all? No, because, yeah, it's, because it's totally they different. Are sweet. It's, yeah. yeah, it's it, it, yeah, it's actually fact, it's not it's not Mexican food. It, that's no, Tex-Mex. It's American. Yeah, no, it's like it's, a, what they, it's what they call Tex-Mex food. But uh, sometimes when I visit uh, another restaurant like um, Buffalo Wings, yeah, uh, I ask for a uh, barbecue. Um, Sauce? Costillas, yeah. Oh, ribs. Oh, yeah. Ribs. ribs. Uh -huh. And I love that uh, dish, but it's totally different. In Mexican food, I prefer the taste uh, uh, the, are, salad. the salad, yeah. So you don't like mole de olla? Mole mm. de mole. It's I... sweet. It's sweet. Delicious. Mm. No, no lo he probado. I didn't try. I haven't. No, I haven't. I haven't tried. I haven't tried it. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit sweet, Roxana. It's a little bit But uh, I, in my, in my uh, list for uh, cosas por hacer, sería a list for the, in my, in my checklist, I uh, have visit uh, Mexico mm -hmm. because I need to try the tacos here. Okay, let's see, let's see, Roxana. You have gone to Europe. Yeah. And you have <laughs> never visited Mexico? No, teacher. Have you gone to Asia? I do ask Near, because uh, in my last travel, I visited, I visited, I visited Turkey. Visited. I visited Turkey and Turkey, I, Turkey. Turkey, Turkey. And I take uh, a ferry and visit uh, some um, area close to Asian, but it's Turkey. Yeah, still Turkey. When the pandemic started, I uh, have I had um, dreams because I oh, I you were in to... Brazil. You were in Brazil, yeah. right? Yeah, but in my in my vacation in 2020, uh, I was visiting. I was no, yo quería. I wanted to visit. I wanted. I wanted to visit. Yeah, China. But mm. I, I can't. It was not possible. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't. Uh, 
that's life. Well, thank you very much, Roxana. Let's see, let's see who's being quiet. Who's being quiet? Hey, Sylvia. Hello. Let me see, Sylvia, Sylvia. What's your favorite restaurant? You don't have a favorite restaurant, do you? No, I don't have a favorite restaurant. I used to go to the beach and eat um, seafood from the from the places that are at the beach. Okay, well, and tell me, why do you like those places? What is special about them? Uh, because the food is really delicious and because of the weather. When you're at the beach, everything is good. The weather? Yes. Come on, Sylvia, it's I hot. can walk on the sand. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hot, but I used to, I have get used to. Okay, you know, I will switch you. I will send Carlos to live in your house and I will send you to live at Carlos just to check it out. <laughs> yes. And Carlos says like, no. <laughs> He will die. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. Let's see, let's see. Marcela, hello, Marcela. Hello. Tell me, Marcela, what's your favorite restaurant? Uh, my favorite restaurant, Puyas. Puyas, okay, tell me what makes Puyas <laughs> special for you? Um, meat and... Uh, carne, como carne asada, carne preparada, no sé. Roast beef? Mm, maybe. Okay, you love that. Um, Do you visit regularly? Um, sometimes, not regularly with my family. Oh, okay. oh, that's cool. That's cool. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Marcela. Let's see. Thank what you. about you, Jensi? What's your favorite restaurant? Um, my favorite restaurant, I like one of, in Los Planes de Renderos, uh, okay. Mil Cumbres Café. Oh, really? Mm, yeah. Café. I love coffee. Tell me. I like this, this place. Why do you like it? Because I like the view. It's near oh, really? to La Puerta del Diablo. Okay. You can have the same view uh, in this place, but uh, you don't walk. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. like in la puerta del <laughs> they don't have to work all to go all the way up and everything. Uh, uh, yeah. And you can uh, bring um, hot coffee and okay. get a test test note. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, thank you. Nice to know it. Thank you, Jensi. <laughs> okay. Fabiola, what about you? Tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? Maybe um, favorite restaurant is Permarino. Okay. For his cocktails and seafood soup is very delicious for me. Okay, well, Probably. thank you. Interesting, thank you very much. Jose, what about you, Jose? What's your favorite restaurant? Excuse me, teacher. I turn on the microphone. <laughs> and my favorite restaurant, I think, is the Cailan Chino. Oh, really? You love Chinese yes. food? Yes, I like it. Uh, for me, it is special because uh, it's a, a different concept of Chinese food. Nothing oh, really? like, like others. Uh -huh. I like the the flavors of their dishes, they are not very strong. Okay, tell, uh, would you mind telling me again the name of the restaurant? Uh, the Cailan Chino. Where, where is it located? It's in, in Santa Ana City. Mm, man, too far for me. I love Chinese food, but Santa Ana for me is far. <laughs> it's so far for you. Yeah. And, I mean, I live closer to Cojutepeque than to San Salvador. Estoy más cerca de Cojutepeque que de San Salvador. So Santa Ana for me is very far. <laughs> I understand. 
And well, in that yeah, place, my favorite dish are uh, sweet and sour flavor, like yeah. chicken yeah. and yes, like chickens and how do you say lomito? Uh, there. I, <laughs> I don't have an idea. Leo, yeah, because we okay, are talking yes. about a special dish. Okay. Platillo especial. Okay, yeah, lomito with with I mean, vegetables. When it's and... when it's beef, cuando hablamos de res, it's is this tender lamb. Tender, tender. Tender. Okay, lamb. okay, yes, so yeah, like chicken and turtle loin. and okay, right the, the, the rice yeah, flavors. But you are talking about uh, pork, right? Okay. Yes. Right. Pork, pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin. Okay. Hablamos de 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 cerdo, ¿verdad? Yes, I got it. Uh, with the rice flavors is so the is is delicious with chicken meats and shrimps. I like the taste of the micheladas in this place. Oh. That's a whole That's different true. story. That's interesting. That's yes. interesting. Well, thank you very much, mister. Let's see, you, let's Peter. see. Daniel, I remember Daniel loves going to the beach to Acajutla, right, Daniel? Right. And, okay, tell me, Daniel, why is it, why is that place special for you? How does it make it a, a special place for you? Maybe because uh, in February uh, was the month that we won the, our biggest um, contract. Uh -huh. And we, we, with my wife, went to the restaurant to celebrate. Oh, really? No, oh, yeah, that's... That's very important. That makes it special when you can share it with yeah. somebody like that. Interesting. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thanks for sharing with us. Let's see, Ambar, tell me, you and your cat, what's your special restaurant? Well, teacher, my favorite restaurant is Puerto Mariscos. Okay. What does it make it special for you? Because I love the ceviches, the cocktails. Mm -hmm. Uh, before I was allergic to shrimp, but I how does how do you say ya superé la alergia? Okay, just let, tell me please how do you overcome? I overcome the allergy. The allergy. The allergy. Yes. Yes. And okay. I think that shrimps, conchas. It's delicious. Yeah, oh, are yeah, delicious. Yeah, I love them too. Let's see. I know I know that somebody in this class, let's see. Yeah, I think it's in this class that there's one of you who can prepare Peruvian ceviche. Who is it? I you are? Oh I can I can do. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Well, thank you, Amber. Thanks thank for you for sharing with us. Let's Thank see, you. let's see, let's see. Well, guys, I'm sorry I cannot talk to all of you because uh, we need to jump to the next activity. We got a lot to work today to cover. Let's see, we're gonna go straight first for the conversation, then we're going, well, first I'm going to present the conversation, then we are going to do uh, 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 the practicing of the conversation. Then I have a, a PowerPoint presentation for you is going to be alone, but it's going to be interactive. You are going to be participating, like helping me solve the exercises in the presentation. It's gonna be fun. So let's check it out first, the conversation. Let me share with you guys. Where is it? Oh, it's right here in your manuals in page number nine. Okay, look, the situation goes like this. It says, Luigi has a pizza restaurant, but he wants to have more customers. Okay.
read the conversation and complete the statement below, but we are going to do the practice on the conversation also, okay? So the conversation goes like this. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, guys, I repeat. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, guys, let's see. Let me just check the groups. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, the rooms are created. Please jump into the breakout rooms. We are going to do the practice. You're going to have three minutes for the practice and then I'm going to recall you here back, okay? Please, let's jump in. You got the invitation already. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we regular, don't risk regular, regular, reg regular customers. And we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Uh, then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. A specialty. Specialty. Specialty, specialty of the house. Amber, okay. take yes. our orders. Take 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 our orders. Perfect. Okay, switch. Uh, and Luigi. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant, I think our restaurant 
is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger. Teacher, what is, what is the correct pronunciation? Is sauce or sauce? Sauce, sauce, sauce. Okay. Sauce. Sauce. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's now. I start. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepper. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Vicky, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. The table receiving customers. And we don't receive takeout orders, so let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we we will add more cheese and more salt that will be the new specialty for of the house. Peter. Okay, Sylvia, um, you're you're doing it perfect. Just uh, you need to get rounder when you say. Take out orders, take out orders, take, take out, out orders. orders. What is the meaning of take out orders? Para llevar. Okay, with like, oh, okay. Delivery is to like bring. When the, they, when they send it to your house. Okay, and take out orders is like, para llevar. Yeah, you go to the restaurant, you ask for the food, but you take it to your home. Mm, okay, I understand. And they pick up? It's take out order. Ah, uh, it's the same. Take out order. Take out order. Well, a pickup is a car, Maria. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> If you want, you start, uh, Jose. Okay. Maybe we need to add more. Fernando, hello, good evening. Fernando. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I do. Hello, mister, how are you? Nice having you here. Ah, fine, teacher, sorry, I'm late, I'm very late. Come on, what happened today? A lot of work? Uh, yes, a little, a little war, and I have an emergency uh, before the the class. Uh, so well, you know I... that happens. The good thing, the important thing, is that you connected. You're here, okay? Yes, that's what matters and, right now. Yes, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's great. That's great. It's excellent to have you here. Okay, guys, thank before you, we you. do the practicing, let's see. Before we do the practicing, I'm sorry, guys, I need to take the attendance once again. So let's see. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. 
María Luisa Morales de Corpeña. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present and ready teacher. Great. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Oh, Walter is having problems with the connection, but he's here. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Chensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, Shanira. I just check it out. No problem. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's do the practice. The practice, it's going to start with Maria Luisa and William Rosales. Okay. Let's see. Uh, William, you start. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer. But cheese is better than pepperoni. Bridgie, I see our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. The, they have more beautiful decoration than, than this place. We also need more room for, for more for more tables. And we have to hide is a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers. And we don't receive takeout orders. So let's smart start with that that yes carla you are ingenious then we will and more cheese and more stars that will be the new especially of the house okay perfect thank you very much uh, maria deliveries Del delivers deliveries deliveries delivers customers Customers. Customer. Receive. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nicolas and Maria Alejandra. Nicolas, you will start, please. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we well, we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. We, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more rooms for more tables, and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, no. The secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers, and we don't receive, receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla. You are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new especially of the house. Okay. Nicolás, secret, secret. 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 Perfect. Thank you. 
Now let's see, Jency and Fabiola. Jency, you'll start. Okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. If no the cheese or sauce, please, we have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, perfect. Excellent, ladies. Very well done. Let's see, Carlos Antonio and Marcela. Carlos, you'll start, please. Okay, teacher. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decorations than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or the or sauce, lady. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't precise take out orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will, that will be the new speciality of the house. Okay, perfect. Just Marcella, receive, and we don't receive take out orders. Receive take out orders. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see now, Nestor and Fernando. Nestor, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, oh, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Fernando, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more salt. That will be the, the new specialty of, this, of the house. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Nestor, the new specialty, the new specialty. Now let's see, next, 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 next. Roxana and Ambar. Roxana, you start. Perdón, boy. Um, maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza so we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Ambar. Perdón, Tiche, tengo problemas con el internet, no le había escuchado. Give me one second. Maybe we need to add more pepper. Cheese is better than pepperoni. Uh, I'm sorry, Ambar, you are the second one. 
Roxana Startup, you are Carla. Okay. Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We, we, we also need more rooms for more tables and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive ticket orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, Amber, regular, regular. 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 Yeah, that word is hard regular. for you, I know, I know. Yeah, like that, perfect. Regular. Excellent, okay. excellent. Let's see, let's see. Ah. Who's missing? Who's Ay, disculpeme, missing? pero tengo algunos problemas con internet. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Don't worry about that. Martha and Daniel. Who we'll start, teacher? You, Martha. <clears throat> okay. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get, we get more customer, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Daniel? Give me a, a little second, sir. Okay, Luigi, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration than this place. We also need more room for more tables and we have to hire a person to make delivery. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservations for regular customers and we don't receive takeout orders. So let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you are genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see who's missing. Que me falta? Claudia and Sylvia, please. Sylvia, you start. Maybe we need to add more pepperoni to the pizza. So we get more customers, but cheese is better than pepperoni. Okay, wait a moment. Louis, I think our restaurant is too small. The restaurant next door is bigger than our pizzeria. They have more beautiful decoration that this place. We also need more rooms for more table and we have to hire a person to make deliveries. No, no, the secret is in the sauce. It's not the cheese or sauce, Luigi. We have to offer table reservation for regular customers and we don't receive take out orders, so let's start with that. Yes, Carla, you're a genius. Then we will add more cheese and more sauce. That will be the new specialty of the house. Okay. Luigi is a very stubborn person. Thank you very much, guys. I'm so sorry for the ones who are missing yet. Perdón por los que me faltaron. But we need to move on, okay? Don't worry that for next activity, I'll take you into an account. No se preocupen que en la próxima actividad los tomen en cuenta, okay? Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, but we are fighting with time right now. Perdón, Teacher, pero estamos I have a question. Tiempo. Yes, tell me, what's the question? Uh, el manual 
Yes. Lo compartió en el grupo. Well, actually, uh, let me check it out. Creo que lo compartió, yes. De, de uh, en el grupo de WhatsApp, teacher. Yes, ah, okay. it is there. It is there. But it was shared with us today at, at noon. Lo compartieron hoy a las 12. So you joined the group after 12? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, after at, at 3 p.m., creo. En el grupo de WhatsApp lo compartieron. Yo me uní ya en la tarde. That's a problem, but don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, there you go. Ya lo subí de nuevo. It's going to appear in a few seconds. Thanks, unos segundos. Don't worry, don't worry. Thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, before I forget, Ambar. Tonight you stay with me after the class. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Let me tell you before we move on, let me tell you with whom of you I'm going to stay this week. Let's see. Today is Amber. Tomorrow is Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernandez. Okay, Carlos. And for Monday is Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos for the session one on one. On Monday, I will tell the rest of the week. Okay. El lunes les digo quién les toca el siguiente día. Los siguientes días de esta semana. Okay, let's continue. Let's see, where's, where's Mr. Osorio? Mr. Osorio, you're going to help me with that activity. So be ready, be ready. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, guys, we go back to the to the manual. Okay, before we move on, continuemos. Questions about vocabulary? No? Okay, now we got here some vocabulary. So we have to match the restaurant industry words to their meanings. Do you know all of them? Let's see, number one is specialty. Mr. Osorio, tell me, what is a specialty? Which option is it? Okay, give me a second, teacher. Specialty is a dish that is extremely good in a particular restaurant. Okay, so number one, right? A dish, one. a dish that is dish. extremely good in a particular, a particular restaurant. restaurant. Perfect, thank you very much, mister. Thank you to you, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Marcela, number two, buffet. What is a buffet? Uh, you got problems with it? See, I can view, but oh, okay. I want uh, buffet. Don't worry, it's don't worry. Using the, in different dishes, placing a public area where people serve just on the themselves. Okay. Yes. Let's see. The means says that this is number two. Different dishes placed in a public area where people serve themselves. Perfect. Yes, that's a buffet. What is to book a table, Maria Alejandra? What is to book a table? Mm. Mm. Uh, similar to that reservation. Or oh, okay. <laughs> to make a reservation at a restaurant. Perfect, Maria Alejandra. That's the one. Thank you. Nicolas, 
Let's see, what is to take out? What is take out? Yes, you hear or not here? Okay, uh, the number four is take out. Uh, you can call a restaurant or the food that they take into your home. Okay, Nicolas. Mm. No. Number four is this. Look. Takeout is a packaged meal that you can eat away from the restaurant. That means you can take it out of the restaurant. Okay. And okay. delivery is when you call a restaurant, order food, and they take it to your home. But when you go to the restaurant, it's takeout. Okay, thank you. So if you go to the restaurant and you order, they ask you. When you go to the restaurant and you order, they ask you to hear or to go. Okay. They ask you to hear or to go. If you say to go, that's a takeout order. Okay? Because you take it out of the restaurant. You. Delivery is when you call for delivery service because that's a service they provide. Okay, guys. Now we are going to go do something uh, a little bit different, actually. Just let me check. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I made a little mistake. Just I'm gonna solve it in a second. Okay, let's see. Perfect. I wanna share with you a little something that I have prepared. Let me share it with you guys. Can you see it? A ver. Yes, 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 teacher. Okay, perfect. Comparatives. We are going to talk a little bit about comparatives tonight. So, well, this is me, class one, Compar comparing places. Okay, let's see. Comparatives and superlatives. Okay, what is comparatives? Uh, before we get into comparatives, let's remember a little bit something that I explained before. Vamos a ver lo que explicamos. I'm sorry, I will just today and just for this topic, I will use a little bit of Spanish, okay? Eh, voy a usar un poquito de español solo para este punto gramatical. Cuando expresamos el, cuando queremos hacer comparaciones, Tenemos grados diferentes del adjetivo. Uno es el grado comparativo y otro es el superativo. El comparativo puede ser de igualdad, de superioridad o de inferioridad. En este caso nos vamos a enfocar más que todo en el comparativo de superioridad. Nos decimos que algo es más o mejor, más alto, más grande. ¿Ok? Y el, de, el superlativo, cuando decimos superlativo, es el más. No hay más que ese. ¿Ok? Pero en este caso vamos a trabajar más que todo con comparativo, no superlativo. Ok. I'm sorry, but I needed to, to get that point straight and clear to you guys. Let's go back to English and let's go back to the exercise. To the presentation. Ok, comparatives. Well, guys, you know what is an adjective, right? An adjective is a word that describes a noun. So, look, this is the key here adjectives adjectives because we express the comparisons through adjectives remember adjective is a word that says something about a noun like uh, like i don't know like uh, carlos wall is green green colors are adjectives okay like let's see let's see let's see ambers pillow is comfortable, comfortable, an adjective, 
Okay? Like, Jensi's hair is long. Like, Roxana's smile is very nice. Nice, long, uh, dark, comfortable, green. Those are adjectives. Remember, adjectives are used to describe something. Now, adjectives can express, can be expressed in a degree. And what's that of the degree? Let's check it out. Let's go back to the presentation. We got comparatives. When we get one syllable adjectives, we add ER. As an example, we got small, smaller, cheap, cheaper. Green Park is smaller than Hyde Park. This Italian restaurant is cheaper than Jamie's Oliver's restaurant. Now, something else that I want to get through everyone. Remember guys, we got the words what, we got that, and we got then. These three words, esas tres palabras que les he puesto en el chat, quieren decir qué. What for a question. That affirmative sentence. Then for comparisons. Okay? Remember that. We use what. What means que in a question. That means que in an affirmative sentence. Then means que in a comparison. Like I say, oh, Fernando is more serious than me. Then, más que, okay? So when we are making a comparison, then means que, but just for comparisons. Questions? No? Okie dokie, let's continue. And then we got the superlatives. Superlatives follow the same rules, just that instead of ER, they use EST, okay? Small, smallest, fast. Oh, I'm sorry, faster. In this case was cheap, cheapest, okay? Green Park is the smallest royal park in London. That means that there is not another one smaller than this. It's the smallest. This is the cheapest restaurant in the neighborhood. Now let's continue. One syllable adjectives ending in E, we just add R, like large, larger. Hyde Park is larger than Green Park. And the same applies to the superlatives, the ST. Large, the largest. Hyde Park is the largest park in London. This is something very interesting. Look, when you get a superlative, you always got the before. The. Okay, like the largest, the smallest, the cheapest. Okay, one syllable adjectives ending in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, double the last consonant and add ER. Example, big, look, big. Is very short, one syllable, and ends. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Es un adjetivo corto que termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, duplica la última consonante, agrega ER. Big, bigger. The British Museum is bigger than the National Gallery. And the same happens too. For the superlative, look, biggest. Now, Two syllable adjectives ending in ER, O, W, L, E, just add ER, like narrow, narrower, gentle, gentler, clever, cleverer. Battersea Bridge is narrower than Tower Bridge. Okay, so in this case, short adjectives add ER. Now, Two syllable adjectives ending in Y. When an adjective ends in Y, we change the Y for I and add ER. 
like busy, busier. Oxford Street is busier than Abbey Road. Now, two or more syllable adjectives. In this case, we are talking about long adjectives like popular, like intelligent, like comfortable, you see? Popular, more than two syllables. One, two, three, more popular. Intelligent, more intelligent. Comfortable, more comfortable. Can the market is more popular than Portobello market? Now we got some that are irregular. These ones are special. We got good, better. We got bad, worse. We got far, it can neither be farther or further. Either one is correct. Cualquiera está correct. Okay, now, before we get into the exercise, questions, preguntas? No, teacher. No? Shall we go to the exercise? Vamos con el ejercicio? Great, teacher, great, I'm, yes? And send, sending in the presentation, oh, it's a quadro, así es a... No, I will, I will. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yo okay. se les envío. Okay, thank you, teacher. At the end of the class, only that. Okay. Let's continue. Where is he? Okay, here we go. Now, guys, remember, I will be asking for your participation. Okay, Athens is, let's see. Okay, Roxana, you've been there. Usted ya fue ahí. So tell me, Athens is, we are going to do the for... ancient, antiguo, mm -hmm. antiguo. Oh, Athens is uh, the ancient, ¿cómo Remember, we are making the comparison. Oh, yeah, is, More. is, uh, or ancient than mm -hmm. London. Uh, okay, stay or connected. Ash okay, stay here, Roxana, because you didn't do this. I did it. So next is yours. This is yours, okay. Roxana. London is more beautiful than Liverpool. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Ambar, your turn. More beautiful than. London is Ambar. London, London is bigger than Dublin. Okay, this is the Thames. The Thames. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Bigger than. Excellent. Carlos, we are talking about Heathrow. Okay. Heathrow, Heathrow Airport is Bissell than Badwick. Okay, let's check it out. Bissell than Gatwick. Perfect. Remember, ends in Y, we change the Y for, for an I and add ER. Perfect. Now let's see. Next one goes to Claudia. London is more cosmopolitan. Uh -huh. That your I don't know teacher. Okay, London uh, is more <laughs> cosmopolitan than York. The situation is this, uh, Claudia. In England, there's York. York is a city. In the United States, they got New York. So York is in England. New York is in the United States. Let's see, let's see. Daniel, Daniel, this is yours. Okay. 
Uh, Calder market Pero. is more crowded than Portobello market. Let's check it out. Perfect. Camden Market is more crowded than Portobello Market. Excellent. Excellent, Daniel. Teacher. Yes, mister? Crowded, uh, how many syllables? Crowded, two. Crowded. And the rule says two or more syllables. Y la regla nos dice dos o más syllables. Okay. Crowd is one. Crowd. It's just one sound. It's un solo sonido. Crowd. No hay un corte. Crowd. The... Okay. No problem. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who was? Fabiola. You got Tijuana. Tijuana is more dangerous than London. And then London. Oh then yeah, we... TJ. TJ is a whole different story. Uh, in the lay, in Los Angeles, usted dice Tijuana instead of saying Tijuana, they say TJ. Mm. TJ. TJ, yes, is more dangerous than London. Thank you, Miss. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Fernando, you got Mexico. Mexico City is more dirty than London. Oh, look and see why. Termine. Uh, more dirty. Uh -uh. Mexico City is dirtiest. Dirtier than London. Look. Dear, dear, then remember if it's in Y, we erase the Y, we change for I and add ER. Okay. Excellent, Fernando. Well done, well done, well done. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Living in London is. Hello, teacher. Hello, Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. So Francisco, can you help us here? Uh, repeat me, please, teacher. Can you see the picture? Whatever they mind. Yes, teacher. Okay, so long, living in London is expensive. Make it into a comparative. A comparative. Yes. Well, don't worry, Francisco. You just came. Usted acaba de conectarse. Don't worry. My bad. Jose Osorio is going to help you. Don't worry, Francisco. Jose Osorio, please. You, living in London is more expensive than living in Madrid. Okay. Living in London is more expensive than living in Madrid. Well, yeah, in a way. Sí, un poquito. Not that much, actually because living here is very expensive and living in London, man, but both places are very, very expensive. Okay, let's see. Next one. Next one goes to Marcela Margarita, the Lou. You got the Lou. The Lou, Marcela. Uh, is more famous than the National Gallery. Okay, let's see. The Louvre, the Louvre Museum is more famous than the National Gallery. Well, yeah, the only thing that I don't like is this, the Museum de Louvre. Thank you very much, Marcella. Now, let's see, where's Maria Alejandra? Maria Alejandra, this is yours. Here, <laughs> uh, the, the shark is higher than the green. Gherkin, gherkin. gherkin, yes. The shark is higher than the gherkin. Excellent, well done. Okay, Maria Luisa, you got this.
Maria Lisa, you with me? Sorry, sorry. London is more is more industrial than Oxford. Okay, let's check it out. Industrial. London is more industrial than Oxford. Perfect. Excellent. Now, Martha, where are you, Martha? Hi, teacher. English museum is more interesting than modern. The Tate modern. Tate. Tate okay. modern. Yes, the British Museum is more interesting than Tate modern. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. Nestor, this is yours. Okay, London is uh, larger than Manchester. London is larger than Manchester. Yeah, London is a huge city. Thank you very much. You see, London is larger than Manchester. Perfect. Nicolas, please help me out. The Big Ben is more low than the London A. Okay, look, listen. The Big Ben is lower. 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 Why? Because low is a short adjective. Okay? And ends in OW. Es un adjetivo corto que termina en OW. So we just add ER. The Big Ben is lower than the London Eye. The Big Ben is this. Actually, the Big Ben is this. The Big Ben is history. The clock. And the London Eye is this. Okay? Okay. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Now, let's see, Roxana. You got Bart Seabridge. Anna. But, but, but there she bridge is not over, tower, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> but there she bridge is narrower than tower bridge. Okay, let's check it out. Yes, but it's a bridge is narrower than the tower bridge. Remember, this is the tower bridge. It's not the London Bridge. Some people call it like that. Mucha gente dice el puente de Londres. No, that's actually called the Tower Bridge. That's the name, el nombre es the Tower Bridge. Okay, then we got Sylvia. Sylvia, you got the charge. Once Mr. Abby, La Badilla de Westminster. Westminster Abbey is older than South Cathedral. Okay. You did it well. You did it well. Westminster Abbey is older than Saints. This ST is Saints. St. Paul's Cathedral. St. Paul's Cathedral. Okay. Remember, Sylvia, Cathedral. Cathedral. Like that, perfect. Cathedral. Excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. William, you got Cambridge. William Rosales, hello. Cambridge is more peaceful than London. Okay, Cambridge is more peaceful than London. Yeah, well, yeah, the, this is the university. Actually, it's a citadel. It's una ciudadela. And this is the university, one of the oldest in the world. Cambridge is more peaceful than London. Now, let's see, let's see, Gen Z, you got this one. 
London is more polluted than Oslo. Oslo. Okay, let's see. Please. London is more polluted, polluted, contaminado than Oslo. Well, you can see all the smoke here. And Oslo, of course, is different. Thank you, Jensi. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Susana, are you around? Yes, teacher. Okay, Susana, help me. The British Mall, excuse me, the British Museum is more, more than popular than a size of museum. Okay, let's check it out. The British Museum is more popular than the Science Museum. Yeah, actually it is. Not a lot of people love the science. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ambar, again. London is way near Gibraltar, than Gibraltar. Oh yeah, this island, well, actually this rock doesn't have that much rain. It's hot in, at Gibraltar. London is rainier than Gibraltar. Yeah, remember this is closer to Spain. Now, Seychester, this is Seychester. Claudia, Seychester is? Seychester is smaller. Mm -hmm. Then? Then, okay, then London. Perfect. Seychester is smaller than London. Excellent. Carlos. Trafalgar Square is more spacious, less stress square. No, okay. Trafalgar Square is, is more spacious than less stress square. Perfect, Carlos. Spacious. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you. Daniel. London is more tourist tourister than Glasgow. Glasgow. Okay, yeah, London is more touristy than Glasgow. Glasgow is in Scotland. This is Glasgow is in Scotland. Yeah, not a lot of people like Scotland. Eso es que en Escocia. Now Bath. Oh, bath. Let's see who got bath. Fabiola, you got bath. Teacher, how do you pronounce it? So, picturesque. Picturesque. Bath is more picturesque than London. Oh, yeah. Of course. Just look at this beauty. Excellent. Fernando, you got Oxford. Oxford Street is wider than Baker Street. Okay, Oxford Street is wider than Baker Street. Yeah, that's true. These lines in the street like that are the most weird thing in the world. Esas líneas turbas en la calle son lo más raro del mundo. That means that there are two lanes and they become one. Now oh, we'll check it out later. Let's see. Now let's see, Francisco. Now it's your turn, Francisco. Can you do it? Uh, okay, teacher. Wellington is more windy uh, than London. Okay, now listen. Listen, listen. 
When we got one that ends in Y, cuando uno termina en Y, we change the Y for I and add ER. Okay? So, oh, Wellington okay, is windier than London. Oh, okay, teacher. Wellington is oh. windier than London. Then, 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 sorry, then London. Then London. Perfect. Thank you. Okie dokie, guys. Well, how do you like the exercise? ¿Qué les pareció el ejercicio? Excellent. Okay, do we Oh, Walter, you fixed your connection. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, Walter. I didn't ask you because I, I knew you had problems. Perdón, excuse Walter, me, teacher. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, first day is... Uh, ah, Walter, no. I had a problem. No problem, no problem. Tomorrow, no problem. excellent connection. Let's hope so, let's hope so. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Well, I hope uh, I hope you like the activity, guys. Espero les haya gustado. It was long, but uh, my idea was for everybody to practice doing the exercise together. La idea era que todos lo hiciéramos juntos. Any questions about comparatives? Teacher, I have a question. Yeah, tell me, ask me. Eh, de los últimos ejercicios, había uno que terminaba en I, griega, y se cambiaba por I, E, R o S, ¿no? Yes. Pero había una yes. palabra, había una, había una palabra, tur, turisti, creo que era. Yeah. Yes. ¿Por qué no se cambió? Let me check it out. Vamos a revisar what you mean. Okay, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, touristy, then. Three syllables, Claudia. Three syllables. Porque era de tres sílabas. Long. Okay, okay. When you get longer adjectives, more than two syllables, cuando tiene más de dos sílabas, el adjetivo, cuando ya de tres, we have to put more before. Le ponemos el more antes. Okay, thanks, no. teacher. No, thanks to you. It's very good that you notice. Excellent. Anybody else? Tell me, guys. No? Okay, let's see, let's see. Carlos, tell me, what do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? I prefer Coke, teacher. Okay, Coca tell me why. Tell me why do you prefer Coke instead of Pepsi? Okay, because in my taste, I, I, I think uh, the taste is more delicious, teacher. Um, I, I prefer, I, yes. <laughs> For me, that, okay. that, that is the reason. Okay, no, excellent. And you use the adjective, it's more delicious. Okay, excellent. Sylvia, tell me, what do you prefer, going to the mountain or walking on the beach? Okay, Sylvia, why? Um, I'm sorry, Sylvia. We got we are got, having problems with your connection. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Roxana, the same question goes for you. What do you prefer, walking on the beach or staying on a mountain? Walking on the mountain. I prefer a uh, walking on the mountain. Tell me why, please. Uh, because I think that it, the, the place is more um, quiet, no, tranquila, quiet. Yeah. And the view are um, so beautiful. Okay, so more, beautiful. Are more, more beautiful. More beautiful. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. Very well done. Now, guys, 
Let me, before we move on, let me get the attendance, please. It's time for the last attendance. Okay, let me see, let me see. Okay, Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present teacher. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Lisette Ramos Barrientos. Present teacher. Uh, Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present teacher. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. María Luisa Morales de Corpeño. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Néstor Omar López Castro. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Eh, Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Marcela Margarita Fuentes Nuila. Present. Thank you, Shanira. Thank you, Marcela. Jensi Elizabeth Miranda de Odanes. Present. Fabiola Georgina Silva. Present. Okay, just a second. Okay. Hey guys, I am so happy to have you here in my class. Thank you very much. I expect to see all of you tomorrow, right? Pero verles a todos mañana. Please connect and remember. Any question, please. Any doubt, any suggestion, I am open. Uh, if you gotta work on the platform or if you need help, remember you can get me in the WhatsApp group anytime. Thank you very much. A pleasure to have you here, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Good night. Let's see. Where's Ambar? Where's Ambar? Ah, there's Ambar. Don't go, Ambar. You gotta stay with me. Okay. So let's see, Ambar. Ahora que nos han dejado solos. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, it's the first class, so let me see. Is the topic, today's topic, is clear for you? Uh, well, I have a question about the use, the word that. But? Uh, usted mencionó la diferencia de what, what, that, y, en, y done. Okay, that, that means a lot of things. That significa eso, esa. Ok. Pero hablando como que la palabra uh, que, que como pregunta, que como comparativo. Uh, ok, comparativa. look. 
Look, mm -hmm. listen, listen, Amber. I think that today, I think that today class was very good. Creo que la clase fue muy buena. Ah, ¿Cómo dijo? Creo que. Ah, okay. Okay. You, so, I mean, you understand it. The only difference is that you hadn't noticed. Ya lo entendía, lo que pasa es que no se había fijado. Es que tenía, pero quería salir de la duda, por si no la había captado bien. <laughs> Now, is it clear? Yes. Okay, tell me, is there another question on something related to classes for English? Expectatives, suggestions? No, me, I, I, um, I hope to learn a lot of things in the, in this level. Oh, well, And yeah, you will, I, you will. I hope to sure. improve my pronunciation and my fluency. Well, I don't know if you have noticed it, but uh, today I almost, I almost never, I was never using Spanish. Yo casi nada uso de español. And today I use a lot because it was the first class, actually. Use mucho porque era la primera clase. But if you notice from previous level to this, it's like así de only English. Yeah. Something else that perhaps you have noticed is that I'm speaking faster. No sé si ah, okay. yo, pero estoy hablando un poquito más rápido. Sí. Yes. That's Sorry. And I and actually actually that's my my normal speed of English. This is my normal speed of speaking English. Oh. You have so, a lot of patience. Uh, no. with us <laughs> I, I just like it I just like it I enjoy it me encanta esto don't worry I mean it's not a matter of patience it's just that I feel it's your vocation it. yeah I like it I like it and now tell me because we have tight tell me Amber what did you do during these two weeks that you were not with me how did you practice English tell me and tell me in English uh, I uh, really uh, actually I I didn't practice English because uh, I how do you say me operaron Oh really Yes Oh so sorry to hear that Como lamento escuchar eso eh, es, eh, era un padecimiento gracias a Dios ya Entonces, eh, everything está, is fine. Está tiempo en recuperación. Yes, everything is fine. Thanks, God. Okay. I undergo a surgery. I undergo a surgery. Actually, undergo if it's in the past, you have to say, I have to undergo. I have to undergo is, is like operation. Or... No, surgery is operation. Surgery. Undergo oh, okay. es someterse. Ah, uh, undergo. In surgery, surgery is operation. Eh, yeah. Teacher, Cirugía. do you, okay, can you write the, the work in incapacidad? How do you say incapacidad? Es que siempre me olvido. No worry, don't worry. That's why I'm here. Para eso estamos acá. Leave of absence. Okay. Thank you. That's why we are here. Don't worry. I told you the first time, the very first class. It doesn't matter that the how many times I have to repeat it. I will. Don't worry. I'm Thank you, teacher. That's that's why Thanks we are for here your in help. class. Para eso estamos en esta clase. So you can make mistakes. You can forget. Aquí le puedo olvidar. Don't worry. I'm here to help you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, so you didn't practice no English? Come on. I am sure that you've been watching TV, right? Mm, yes, I'm, I'm watching TV. Uh, maybe sometimes I'm, I'm practice with a Spotify because Spotify, it have uh, subtitles in- It has. It has. It has subtitles in the 
some songs. Uh huh. All right. Uh, and what? Yes. Which are your favorite songs in English? Um, I I like grunge. Uh, oh music my grunge, gosh! Like Nirvana or Alice in Chains. Oh man, Alice in Chains is good. It's a, it's a well. It was a good band because the. Oh, del... So you really enjoy the 90s. Yes, eh, I like the unplug to Alice in Chains. Yeah. It's good. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. For me, for me, one of the best unplugs is Nirvana's. Nirvana's unplugs for me was like, oh. Or Pearl Jam is oh, it's good unplug too. Yeah, Pearl Jam is also good very good music i recommend it to alice in chains on plug is i will check it out again yes just that at that time let me see no i was listening like lacrimosa a little bit later it's just that i I listened to a little bit of crunch i started with heavy metal i listened to a little bit of crunch I jump into punk and from there I jump into into trash and black and dead metal. Oh really? Yeah, um, but then but the nineties were good for rock and roll, they were excellent. Oh and another a good concert is Metallica with the Symphonic. Oh yeah, I love it. It's the I best concert. Yeah. For, yeah, the same. I think it's one of the best concerts ever. Yes. That's called the, the, the S and M. El S -A -M. The Symphonic and Metallic. Así le llamaron al álbum. S A M. S and M. S N el símbolo M. Ah, S M M. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. That was, I mean, that was very, very special. Yes. For me, it's, it's the best concert in the history. You can say it like this. For me, it's the best concert ever. Oh, okay. For me, it's the best concert ever. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I got two. I got that one. And I got the, the, ¿cómo se le llamó el concierto este que fue en Rusia para la caída del muro? Mm, I don't know. Monsters, Monsters of Rock. Um, I, That was more than I one million know. person. Fue más de, más in de another, personas en Rusia. In another good concert is in Wembley with queen oh yeah of course that's iconic yes yeah but, that's iconic pero ahora con la música. <laughs> oh my gosh no no comments no comments hey I'm it's, it's a garbage <laughs> yeah. i am so happy to have you in my class uh don't worry that further on the course más adelante en el curso I will have again a space for you. Realmente tengo otro espacio con usted el jueves 16 de septiembre. Ah, okay. So we will have advance and I will have more time for talking to you, okay? Thank you very much, Ambar, for staying here. So happy to have you in my class and I hope you get better soon. Espero se me recupere pronto. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye.